In this video, enable animated table flip and unflip with a traditional table option and even a way for a viewer to nominate themselves to be flipped and of course unflipped. Hello and welcome to Stream Robot Bytes, where I cover how to set up and to make the most of the awesome Stream Robot. There is one video per topic to make it easy as possible to follow and find. When relevant, sample import code will be provided to make it even easier for you to get started and to add functionality to your stream. So let's get started with the topic for this video. To set up OBS, go to your alert scene. So if you've used Fast Track, the viewer flags Fast Track Alerts, here's the scene to add it in. It doesn't have to be that one, it can be any other scene that you want to add this into, we'll add in the source of browser. And we'll call this table flip. And within the details, put the URL is about blank. We use a full size of this. What you can do is once it's implemented, you can move it around so it uh, ends up on the screen wherever you want it to be. Then Use the options to shut down source for not visible. It doesn't use any audio, so you don't need to worry about that either. Click on OK, and we're done here. To implement this on Streamerbot, go to the video description and look for the import code there. If you triple click, that will select it all, allowing you to easily copy. Then in Streamerbot, click on the import button at the top left, paste in the import string, and you'll see it imports three actions and one queue. The queue is there and it's a blocking queue to make sure that you can't run a table flip more than one at a time. You have three actions that are imported here. You have a regular table flip, which is kind of an antique table. The second one is an alternative table, a bit more traditional. And the third one is where the redeemer will put their avatar image instead in place to be flipped. So if you import these actions and they're there ready to be run. Now you could do this by command or by, or you can do it by a channel point redemption. So under platforms, channel point rewards, you can add a new redemption here and pick whichever table flip you want to. You say the alternative table. Put in the title prompt. It's worthwhile noting the cooldown should be um, a sufficient time to allow the uh, redemption to finish, but it will queue up. So I would suggest the cooldown would be a good idea, but you don't have to. And of course, limiting per user or per, per stream there. Um, for this, we're not going to actually add that there. We're going to do it through a command. So we're going to add in commands here. We'll use table flip. And I'm going to put it into chat commands for now. You can pick which group you want it to be in. Again, easily finding it using the filter. So we're going to do a regular table flip here. As table flip and we're going to have the moderators in there to run this. Again, global cooldowns, use cooldowns, you get to pick what you want there. And what I'm going to do is create another one. Do flip me. And we can have a large use cooldown on this one. So it's only once per stream, potentially. And this is going to then allow us to run the action for the table flipper viewer. So again, you don't have to use commands, you don't have to use channel point rewards, pick what works for your stream. Now you've got the actions or channel points set up, we need to go through and make sure that the table flip actions that you're using, because you don't have to use all three, just the ones you want to use, are pointing at the right source. So in here, the alert scene, and a source of table flip there need to be picked. 
it is the same as my import for obvious reasons. But go through all the, the actions here, select them again, and click on OK. So we do that four times. You see here, all pointing at the table flip in the fast track alert scene. We don't use alternative table here. So we just need to see the viewer. Again, selecting those, even if it looks to be correct, is uh, what I'd suggest to do. You can always try it without first, but most people will probably have their own scenes and sources there. Okay, table flip there four times. The final thing to do is to make sure you have the WebSocket server set up. So under Service Clients, WebSocket Server, make sure you have Auto Start selected and Start Server. Click on that if it isn't already started like it is here. And now we can test. Because we're using commands, we're going to trigger first the table flip command. And we notice over here, it's not visible at the moment, so the source is not showing. Shortly after running it, we are now showing this. By default, table flip doesn't show anything on the screen. You need to have someone wanting to flip the table first. Table will drop down, and the redeemer's display image will flip the table. And again, the unflip be on flip there as well. For the flipping the redeemer, flip being command in this case, again, it could be a channel point reward. Go to enable that. And then I've sacrificed myself. I can flip or also unflip. And now for the optional part of the video, stepping through the stream bot actions showing how we put this together. I'm going to pick for this one the viewer because it does one additional step. We start off here because we're using the viewer, we're getting target information from who redeemed. That means then we set the browser source URL. At the end, we can put the target user profile image URL. So just saying the table flip address is at the start and then we're setting a variable flip me to be that image to use for the flip. We're then setting that source to be visible. By default it's going to be hidden. We then set a twist message saying that we've got five minutes because next we set a twist message say the user has sacrificed themselves to be flipped and they have five minutes to flip or unflip them. We delay for a minute, say four minutes, and again, until we have no time left. Finally, we set the browser source to be hidden and put the URL here to about blank so it's having nothing and it's fully cleaned up. Please like and subscribe to be notified of more videos like this. If there's a topic you'd like covered, please do let me know in the comments or on Discord. Check out my Twitch stream to see the bot in action and for other examples. The links to my Twitch, social media and to streamer bots can be found at vrflad.com. Additional links to others that provide streamer bot content can be also found in the description. Finally, thank you Nate for making a great bot and please consider supporting his Patreon which is linked from streamer.bot.